Hello you guys, so in today's video we will talk about the 3 deadly traps in French defense that can grant you a quick win. Even a title player has falling for these traps. So let's just straightly dive into this trap number 1. So the French defense opens with e4 and e6. So we'll go into mainland with d4 and d5. So in today's video I will tell you the 2 traps in e5 and the 1 trap in knight to d2. So let's start with the trap on e5. Now we have c5 attacking the white strong center. Now we have c3 strengthening it. Now we have knight c6 attacking a d4 pawn. Now we have knight f3 defending it. Now we have queen to b6 attacking the attack on d4 pawn. Now we have bishop to d3. Now this is a very basic trap and almost everybody knows that you can't just grab a pawn here with cx d4, cx d4 because of just check on the bishop let's see if you takes with a knight you take yet yeah, now you take with the queen just bishop to b5 check and you are losing a queen so this is no good so here black usually play bishop to d7 now black is actually threatening to win a d4 pawn so here our trap starts with dx c5 bishop x c5 and now you will castles and if black is in hurry and just plays knight g to e7, just b4 and the bishop is getting trapped. So let's just start the trap number 2. We will again go into e4, e6, d4 and d5 line. Now we will play knight to d2. Now there are many ways to play this line. You can play knight to f6 here. You can play c5 here which was played in the world championship match versus Magnus Carlsen and Fabiano Caruana. But here we will examine the line of d takes e4 and knight takes e4 and knight to f6. Many players has played this against me and even a 2300 is falling for this trap. So here we will play knight takes f6. Now the best move is actually to play g takes f6 but if they play queen takes f6 you will play bishop to d3. Now again the d4 pawn is out of reach because of bishop to b5 check. So here black usually play knight to c6 and now we will play the very tricky knight to f3. Now black plays any move, any move except a6, the queen is getting trapped. Let's say if the black plays bishop to e7 or bishop to d6, then simply bishop to g5 and the queen is trapped the queen has nowhere to go nowhere and this trap this 20 the 2200 2300 has falling for this so you may try it so let's start the trap number three if you liking the video do like and subscribe the channel to show your love and support so trap number three is in the position of trap number one and even a title player has falling for this trap so let's just strictly dive with e4 e6 d4 d5 e5 c5 c3 knight c6 knight f3 queen b6 bishop d3 bishop d7 pawn takes bishop takes castles now here if the black is bit aware and doesn't want to allow with knight to g5 to allow b4 you will play a5 now you will play knight b to d2 and here they will play a4 so you will play b4 and they will play ampassant now you will play knight x b3 and in my 90% of game the bishop has gone to e7. When the bishop gone to e7 you will play bishop to e3 and the queen will go to c7 and you will play the very tricky queen to d2. The queen to d2 serve our purpose if the queen goes here so you can capture it I will tell you why. If the knight takes on e5, knight takes on e5, if they play queen takes on e5, just bishop to d4. Now if they want to cover this pawn, the, the queen has to go on the g5. But we have a queen on d2 so we can capture it. Let's say if they play queen to g5, you can just take, bishop takes and just bishop takes on g7. They can play bishop to f6, now you just grab a rook. For bishop and you just play rook f to c1 and you are an exchange up in this variation. So this was for the video. Have an excellent day and see you soon. All.